Hey, hey. Saumu amefika. Saumu, you got a nice ride, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing, amazing. Sana, sana, sana. Yeah. That's Saumu movie, guys. Galia machini noma sana. Check that one, guys. Machini mekubali sana. Mercedes. Mini. It's a nice one, man. Wagwan. Saumu amefika. Tumefika. Tumekuja kuwakilisha. Tumekuja kuona wasichana. Tumekuja kuona wasichana wetu. Our young sisters. Majorly which area are you going to tackle? Our mental health. Mental health. Yeah, yes, mental health awareness. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far have you like interacted with some maybe socially, social medias? Yes, yes. We we've been doing a lot of touring to schools, especially high schools and universities. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to introduce a program that will help the students to share the problems that come up openly and talk about mental health, so that they cannot now we stop stigmatizing mental health, so people can stop suffering in silence. So once we start training them how to speak out, that's when we start empowering them and actually giving them uh, to be adaptive of having a positive mindset. So when they come out here, they're well empowered and they're prepared for what they'll, uh, they'll get out here. Oh, so uh, uh, you're dealing with uh, mental issues. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the major uh, cause of a mental issue? Like right now in Kenya, we see people are up and down, up and down because of the standard of living economy is bad. Yes, uh, yes. So, like, majorly, <laughs> what's the main, main issue? Mm -hmm. Like, main cause that is, like, making people uh, mentally disturbed, you know? Most of the times, mm -hmm. it's actually the environment. Yeah. You find it's either you're in a toxic environment and also cost of living. Mm -hmm. So, there are a lot of things that trigger that. There is also the now poverty also, and you know mental health affects mostly middle and uh, lower country economic the countries that are uh, still trying to find a balance. And Kenya is one of them. So right now you see the cost of living has really gone high, and people are really uh, suffering. Yeah. So with uh, with the, that uh, with the, that such an effect, there is a lot of. Um, People are going through the stress and depression has really gone high. So we're trying to it's it's off. Yeah, it's, it's on, it's on, it's on. The screen just goes sleep, so just what, sleep, yeah. What we're trying mm. to tell people that mm. it's okay not to be okay. Yes. So that we we, we, we want to be the voice of the voiceless. Yeah. So I want we, we want people to know that uh, these things happen. Mm. Stress is part of life, but you don't make it become yeah, your yeah. uh, you, 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 the part of uh, who you are. Oh, so yeah. uh, maybe quickly, maybe you know, with your statistics, uh, mm -hmm. like uh, uh, we tend to see, uh, maybe is it like uh, which gender is more affected, like mentally? Actually, the gender that is more affected is the boy child, because yeah. the boy child are taught not to be vulnerable, so they really suffer in silence. Once once a boy child comes out and starts speaking out, they are told uh, you have to be strong, you're a man, and all that. Jikaze kimwanaume. Jikaze kimwanaume. <laughs> that is an old school narrative right now because these things are really uh, affecting everyone when it comes to mental health it cuts across it doesn't cut across a certain age a certain it affects everyone the rich the poor the girls the boys so it doesn't have even a certain race that it chooses mm. so it's a silent monster that is taking a lot of our people the rate of suicide level has really gone high so that's why we're trying to make some noise on this area also Samu, thank you so much for your time and then maybe to Malaysia to do have like a physical place where people can reach out to you because uh, I know your DM, your social, uh, maybe your contacts are busy sometimes. Are there like a physical? I place? have an, yes, we have an, an like an open uh, platform. Also, we have our Instagram page, Pamoja We Can Initiative, where in that initiative, we ha there is a number on that social media page, which I'm the one who hands uh, handles the number. We have a therapist on board. So in case, you know, th therapy is a bit expensive. So we have an, a therapist on board, which we refer you right now. We are doing three free counseling, yes. which we have partnered with some organizations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And we, lastly, we know your dad is so supportive. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen uh, images of him 
uh, feeding the police during the demos. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen him uh, uh, give cash to uh, the upcoming artists. Mm -hmm. Does uh, does he have like a hand in your project? Yes, he has a hand in my project because he knows I really I suffered in silence for a long time. Uh, being bipolar, being having bipolar disorder, uh, I, I lived not knowing what I was uh, going through until a point where I seeked help and I went through treatment and counseling that I had to accept my condition and I had to, I found out that there's a lot of people that are going through these situations and that's why I had to come out strongly and share this. Okay. So in supportive of him, He's uh, really supporting me. Yeah. Thank you so much, Salmo, and uh, welcome. Yeah. Have yeah. a good time. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, thank you.